What is going on guys? It's your boy Dolan and welcome back to another Destiny 2 weekly reset milestone um, overview. So what we'll do this week is basically start off with the milestones, go over the faction rally winner and probably get into Eververse. So starting off with the Nightfall Strike. Now the new patch just came out today um, for February 27th for Nightfall scoring and all that sort of stuff. So if that's something you are interested in, you may or may not want to check that out. So, Nightfall. As you can see, wait a sec, Tree of Probabilities contain a rampant army of Red Legion within the Infinite Forest. There's no modifiers, so obviously this is, I think, part of the new card system as to where you can actually select your own modifiers now, so it's pretty weird <laughs> to see no modifiers whatsoever. Um, I thought there'd at least be one. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, that's that's pretty weird to say the least. And then you got strike challenges, you got Leviathan, complete obviously the Leviathan or Eater of Worlds Raid Lair for powerful gear, call to arms, crucible matches, and clan XP if you're in a clan, complete any activities to get clan XP. Flashpoint is on Titan this week, so go to the planet or moon Titan should I say, and complete public events. Heroic strikes, nobody really cares, and then obviously the faction rally winner this week is New Monarchy. Before we go over to New Monarchy, we'll quickly check to see what Eververse is selling. Hopefully something decent. Ooh. All XP gains increased by 10%. Generate Gunsmith Telemetry. I'm going to get that because I don't actually have it. So that's something that I want. And then we'll go over these emotes. You've got Odd Dance, which is pretty groovy. Then you've got Odder Dance. This is the one that I've got on at the moment. It's actually hilarious. I literally just got this this morning as well. So it's pretty... Uh, it's a coincidence. And we got Twin Tail Locust. And then Bassiano, Bassi, whatever you want to call it. I'm not even going to butcher it anymore. You got the Jade something weapon I went for the, what is it, the Fighting Lion. You got the Sunshot Red Dwarf. That's pretty cool, that one. You got the Gauntlets this week for the armor piece. So no matter if you are on Wart, Titan, or Hunter, it will be our Gauntlets. Shaders this week. You've got Mercury Vex Chrome. I'll quickly show you the shaders as well. So, ew, that's disgusting. <laughs> and then you got another Vex Chrome one as well. Slight, ooh. That's actually pretty cool. Not too bad of a shader, to be fair. And then also you got your boons. Thanks. Anyway, Thanks. let's go see New Monarchy and uh, celebrate their, what is it now? Third win in a row, I think. They won three faction rallies in a row. Amazing. I think it's mainly as well just because the shade is really nice, the armor actually looks the best out of all of them, and all the, the other factions just quite frankly suck um, to go with. I feel like they're deliberately making Dead Orbit bad as well, which is kind of funny, um, to sort of give other half factions a chance. So let's see. The weapon is a pulse rifle with Rampage on actually, so that's not too bad. I'm going to be picking that up. Um, and yeah, that's that. As always, thank you so much for watching, guys. Have an awesome week of playing Destiny 2 if you are obviously still playing it, that is. And uh, yeah, guys, hopefully, I'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, peace.